Hey y'all, it is Elizabeth Off Grid, and today I wanted to answer a question that I get from a lot of people, especially this time of year, which is November in late fall, early winter, which is where am I going to winter since I live in a car? I have been living in a vehicle for over a year, so this is my second winter living in a car. I started out in a Honda Civic, and now I'm in an incredibly spacious Subaru Forester, so gigantic to me, even though I know a lot of people think it's way too small to live in full time. And I'm not planning to winter anywhere. And just like last fall, last winter, I'm going to be doing the same thing, which is where I don't go somewhere to winter. So what do people mean when they say winter? But typically what happens is people, someone who lives in a car or a van or a trailer or an RV, they want to avoid cold. They want to avoid especially being under freezing. But also even some people just don't even want it to be in the 40s degrees Fahrenheit. So they go somewhere during the winter that's warm. They could be, if they're in an RV, maybe they go to an RV park in Florida and pay by the month. That obviously costs a fair amount of money. But maybe they go down to Arizona, to the Quartzsite area. Quartzsite's a town, but there's all this BLM land, this Bureau of Land Management land that's around Quartzsite in the Arizona desert. And also a bunch is also in Southern California in the desert. They'll go to these places and stay there for the whole winter. Different amounts of time. Sometimes people will go to BLM land where you have to move every 14 days. Some people will go to these long-term camping places where you pay a fee. I think you can pay a fee by the month or for like this season. And you can stay there the whole time. Some of the long-term camping areas actually have some services. They uh, have water, trash service, bathrooms. And I mean like pit toilet bathrooms. But some of them have stuff like that. However, just because that's what a lot of YouTubers do, they all go down to Quartzsite, doesn't mean that's what you should do. And it doesn't mean that's what I'm going to do. So if you're someone who can't afford to go travel around in the winter, who is has zero interest in being cold, who wants to be around a lot of other people, who likes the desert, who wants to be around and have a little bit of services, that may make sense. It may make sense to go down to Quartzsite and be in a community and be able to just stay put and save money that way. That is definitely not what I want. Like I have never wanted to just go somewhere and stay put all the time. One of the reasons I live in a vehicle is so I can travel, 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 and go from place to place. And my favorite times to travel is fall, winter, spring, because that's a way to avoid the crowds. It is hot during the summer. There are wildfires. There's crowds everywhere. I don't want to go to cool places then. I want to go during the off seasons where there's so much fewer people. There's more wildlife. Everything's super beautiful and quiet. And to be honest, I'd much rather be in 40 degrees Fahrenheit than 90 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, that it sounds so much better. I have no problem sleeping when it's a bit chilly. My ideal sleep temperature is in the 40s or 50s. That is perfect temperature to sleep at night, in my opinion. I, last night it was in the 40s. I just have cotton blankets right now. I haven't even gotten my wool out. And it's it was great for sleeping the last couple of nights. And 30s at night, it's starting to push it a little bit because it stays about 10 degrees warmer in the car than outside the car because just my body heat and things like that. So that's starting to get a bit chilly for my CPAP to work well. When it's in the 20s, it does cross a line. I'm planning to create like a bed curtains to go around my bed back there. And then I'm hoping it'll add another five or 10 degrees for where I'm actually sleeping. So if it is in the, tw in the 20s or even in the teens, it'll be in the 30s or 40s actually where I'm sleeping and the CPAP will work fine and I'll be warm and it'll be no big deal. If you don't have a CPAP, it's not as big of a deal because then you could just use blankets and stuff like that to keep warm. I'm not using a heater in here because having one of those, you know, propane heaters or any of that kind of stuff, I think inside of a car is uh, does not my comfort or safety level. Maybe someday in the future, so I can go to more cold places in the winter, I'm going to get a trailer, like one of these super bare boned, under a thousand pound trailers that are really just a bed inside of a little box. Because I could put in a, a diesel heater there. And then I could go to a lot of places that I can drive to with this car, with the Subaru Forester. This is a Subaru Forester wilderness. So it's all wheel drive and all the you know things, X mode and all that stuff. And they make trailers that are actually meant for Subarus so they can go wherever Subaru can go. And then I can go to those places and have heat at night. During the day, I'm fine not being outside, you know, but I, it's more about can I sleep and will the CPAP work? But yeah, I, I enjoy traveling in the winter. I don't want to go somewhere and stay put. I don't want to be around crowds in the middle of the desert where there's rats and mice trying to get into your vehicle and eat all the wiring and make mess. Like, 
that doesn't sound like a good time for me. And I also want to be going from place to place. That's the kind of travel that I like to do. I do plan to travel slower in the future, but I don't plan to go and just stay put. That's not the kind of vehicle living that I want to do. Now, it is definitely true that I avoid super cold places. If it is going to be negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit, like it was in places last winter, I'm not going to be there and trying to sleep in a place where you can get frostbite in five minutes. Like, no, that's not something that I'm going to do even for YouTube at this point. I would want a heater if I was going to go to a place like that. And actually, that would that's actually hard to even keep your car able to start and stuff, right? So for me, when it's really cold or really bad weather in places, I may spend some time here in the San Francisco Bay Area where it's a temperate climate and it's just not going to get that cold. It might get to freezing. And, that's, and that would be like something they would send a news alert for if it gets to be that cold. It Most of the time, it is not going to be in freezing at night. It's going to be at the most in the 40s at night, which is lovely to sleep in, in my opinion. Now, someday I may have a place where I summer. This is something that I'm thinking about is buying some land somewhere where it would be really good to summer because summer, it's busy, it's hot, there are wildfires. That's the time of year where I'd like to be able to go to some place that is a lovely place to be where I own land and I can kind of do a little mini homestead situation just for the summers, you know? It might be even, if I'm there for three months, I can even plant vegetables and stuff, right? I have a garden and get to do all kinds of things like that and do minor improvements on the land and, you know, have a shipping container that I'm renovating or whatever. But I'm thinking it's not going to be somewhere that I live at all year round because I want to travel in the fall and the winter and the spring. It'll be somewhere I spend the summer. Now, if I want to be somewhere where it is not hot, it's under 90 degrees Fahrenheit most of the time. That means it's got to be out by the coast, Pacific coast, that, or it has to be at higher high elevation, or it has to be very far north, or some combination of those three. I don't know where that is yet. And I've looked at a lot of places, and I'm still considering a lot of places to look at, but that's the most likely scenario as far as me having a time of year where I stay put. Because right now, in the fall, winter, spring, I want to travel, 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 go from place, 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 place. And then just kind of stay put during the summer to avoid the big travel crowds. Now, this winter, I am not going to be traveling around, really. I'm going to be going to my rental house because I'm still working on renovating it so I can sell it. And I won't be buying land or whatever for my summer cottage thing that I'm going to make until I sell that house and then I have more cash. But that is the secret plan. So where do I winter? I don't. I summer. Thank you all for watching. If you want to say hi, please do so below and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.